Hello everybody. Right, so today we're going to be talking about hydroureter and hydronephrosis. So, what are these two terminologies that we sometimes associate endometriosis, especially complex, deep infiltrative endometriosis with? Hydroureter is when the ureter is swollen or it's, it's dilated. And hydronephrosis is when the kidney is swollen or dilated. And most of this is because of backflow pressure on these two structures. So it's a rare and occasional complication of deep infiltrative endometriosis uh, where you would have either compression on the ureter from extrans external side because of nodules and growths around it in the pelvis uh, or you can have infiltration into the endometri into the ureter and therefore causing an obstruction which causes backflow pressure uh, on the kidney and these two are potentially very dangerous complications because someone could lose a kidney and it is seen in almost 11 to 15 percent of women who have deep infiltrative endometriosis that they could lose their kidney symptom wise what do they feel they may feel flank pain low back pain uh, abdominal pain uh, may occasionally get blood in urine recurrent urinary tract infections diagnosis wise i think uh, low ureteric lesions which is where it's most commonly seen can be diagnosed quite effectively using a detailed and targeted transvaginal scan for endometriosis but in many other cases we may need a CT scan or an MRI to identify or rule these out. So evaluation of the kidney in all endometriosis scans is mandatory to make sure there are no changes in this kidney already seen. Uh, how is it treated? Well it is treated same way medically initially hormonally occasional painkillers but its final and most definitive treatment would be to release this compression and therefore open up the ureter's flow back again by removing and surgically excising these lesions. So most important early diagnosis of endometriosis and its treatment will actually be preventive for hydronephrosis and hydroureter. Thank you.